Hi, and welcome to another wild chit chat. My name is Melinda Schmidt, and I am an animal communicator and nature-based coach. Today, I wanna to talk to you about ladybug poop. Yep, that's what I said, but I'll get to that in a minute. So the biggest thing that I really want to share when it comes to animal communication is that using animal communication can be a tool to help us return to ourself, to return to ourselves, our intuition, our innate knowing that lets us know that we're on the right path, that shows us what path to take. And the implications of this are far reaching and super intense in that we're capable of things nobody believed we were capable of. We, were, we are capable of healing ourselves. I was diagnosed with MS in 2000. By 2002, I had found intuitively a path that would work better for me than medication, and I have not been on medication since, nor have I had any symptoms or issues with the multiple sclerosis. We are capable of building an empire Every single one of us are worthy and capable of building an empire. So whatever it is that we're looking to build to create the biggest impact in the world, we're capable of that. We are capable of talking to animals, every single one of us. Yeah, even you. So what stops us from doing all of this? It's forgetting who we are, and it's forgetting to listen to our intuition. It's forgetting to listen to um, and trust the voice within that tells us to follow a path that nobody else is following. Because we sit there and we go, but that's crazy. But so-and-so is gonna tell me that's not okay. But um, I have this obstacle in my way, or this obstacle in my way, or this obstacle in my way. Your intuition doesn't give a shit about all of those obstacles. <laughs> because all your intuition sees is the truth of what you are capable of. It's only our beliefs that keep us from walking that path that we're capable of. So in animal communication, when we surround ourselves with animals, with nature, with the trees, with the plants, with the bugs, with the clouds. I don't know if you've noticed it, but the minute you are in that space, present in that space, there is like a oh, feeling. You know, you're like, you become grounded and you become centered and you, like your shoulders drop, you become incredibly relaxed. That is your true nature. That true nature is available to you in nature. All you have to do is step outside and be present with it. And so this is why I love animal communication because animal communication, in order to reconnect with our inner self and our true nature, we really need validation. Because <laughs> when we don't have that validation, it's like, oh my God, I'm crazy. I'm just making this stuff up. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, everybody else kind of has it figured out and they seem super confident in it. I really don't know what I'm doing. But when we have someone or something there that validates us and says, oh my God, yes, I did that too, I saw that too, or I see that that happened for you. Then all of a sudden we're like, yes, this is real, this is true, because it is. This is what I'm capable of. So animals offer that to us on a daily basis every time you step outside. Or even if you're inside with your pets, they offer us this validation. Sometimes it comes in the form of feathers, Sometimes it comes in the form of seeing an animal that you were just thinking about and then all of a sudden they're there. Sometimes it comes in a hawk swooping down right in front of your car, so close you're sure you're gonna hit it, but you don't. So there are so many ways that they show up to provide us that validation that our true nature is real, 
that peaceful feeling that we feel when we're connected with our true nature is absolutely 100% the truth of who we are meant to be. And every single one of us is capable of returning to that place in an instant and creating the life of our dreams. So, the little wink and validation that I received this morning as I was talking with a friend, a little ladybug kind of landed back on my shoulder and when I picked it up, I went to put it, because um, I was admiring the fact that it didn't have any dots, and so I went to put it on the table <clears throat> and it wouldn't go. It would not leave my finger. So I'm like, cool, you can hang out with us for a little while. And so almost the whole conversation, the little ladybug, she just kind of hung out. And the next thing I know, I looked down and she had pooped on my finger. So why is this validation? My friend and I busted out laughing. And I don't know about you, but laughter is needed so much right now like there's just so much tension and chaos and heaviness in the world that laughter was just a much needed reprieve for both of us so it was like a little wink to say hey don't forget who you are you were made for joy you were made for laughter this is your true nature don't forget So I hope that this message serves you well today and offers you a little validation that you are on the right path. Keep going, keep following, and keep trusting your intuition. It's real and it will always serve your highest good and the highest good for all around you. You won't ever do anything that will cause intentional harm and I could really go into a whole other thing about that. So I'm just gonna stop right there. It will always serve your highest good and the good of all around you. So I hope you enjoy and enjoy those little validations from the universe. I would love to hear about them. So let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please be sure you do that. And I will see you next time on Wild Chit Chat.